to cross gaps, run forward, then press the to pick up an item, press down on the left mouse button and move the target over the item. Item is a word which here means fork. When the item or fork is highlighted, release the mouse button to pick it up. Well done, Violet. For my contribution, I'll go across the pier to retrieve the old boot. There are many things that you can count on in this world, but many, many more that you cannot. For example, you cannot count on to get past low barriers, simply run up to them. You'll to pass taller barriers, run up to the back, run up to the ladder, and press the up and down arrows to move up and down. I got the boot. What now, Violet? We need to get that jack-in-the-box down. Sonny, I'm gonna need your assistance. Duke! To bite through even the toughest of materials, target the biteable object by first pressing down on the left mouse button, then releasing it. That's great, Sonny. Now I have everything I need. Now if I attach this to here and hook this up to this, presto. I think I'll call it a smasher. The way to use inventions like this smasher is somewhat similar to picking things up. Target the smashable item by holding down the left mouse button, then release the button to break the item into little bits. Those crates won't know what hit them. Ow! Be careful, those crabs can hurt you. Maybe there's something in one of these crates to cheer you up. Misery in this game is inversely proportional to the number of lockets you can collect. The term inversely proportional here means that the more lockets you come across, the lower your misery. What is that? It looks like the letter A. The Baudelaire's were about to discover that there are many mysterious letters in the world, some of them good, some of them not good at all. In this case, the letters are good. You may pick them up and collect them. A is for antipenultimate. Those crabs have stolen our picnic basket and carried it up that hill. Papa, no. We can use the rotten eggs to scare them away. But I don't think either of us can throw them with enough force. We'll need something to lob them with. I'll need a handle, a scoop, a gear, and one last piece to attach everything together. To save your game, run up to the game saver. <laughs> no telling what might be in that water. <laughs> Violet, does this toy boat look like it will work for your invention? Yes. I'll check around inside for a scoop. Ugh. Water is a good place for lurking. I wonder what might be lurking there now. Sonny, bite that rope. This ice cream scoop is perfect. Now I just need some sort of gear and a handle. Could you use any of the parts off that old tricycle? Only if I can get Sunny's help to bite the pieces into shape. Groba! Top-notch biting, Sonny. I'll call this one the lobber. Those rotten eggs should work perfectly with it. To use the lobber, target the crabs with the left mouse button, 
then release it. We'll always have enough rotten eggs to use in the lobber. Watch out for its pincers. A scuttling, scurrying crab! No sooner had the children vanquished the crabs than they saw Mr. Poe walking towards them. Mr. Poe? From the bank? Children, I'm afraid I must inform you of <coughs> an extremely unfortunate event. <coughs> your parents have perished in a fire that destroyed your entire home. <gasps> I know you must feel awful right now, but I have some very good news for you. As the executor of your parents' estate, I've made arrangements for you to live with your dear Uncle Count Olaf. Consider yourselves lucky, children. He's an actor by trade. Generosity is rare in his profession. <clears throat> I would like to tell you that Count Olaf lived in the prettiest house on the block, with a workshop for Violet, spacious library for Klaus, and a white picket fence for Sunny to nibble on. And it would give me great pleasure to inform you that the children went on to live happy lives under the care of their beloved uncle in this cosy and inviting home. Unfortunately, I cannot. This lovely home belongs to Justice Strauss, Count Olaf's friendly next-door neighbour. This is the house of Count Olaf, and this is where it pains me to continue our story. Ah, my dear children. I am your beloved Count Olaf, and my heart, much like my home, is wide open to you. Especially the kitchen. My theater troupe will be dining here this evening, and you will have dinner ready precisely when we feel like eating it. Money, money, money. Tons of new fancy clothes for me. None of us know how to cook. We'll need a recipe. Maybe we could ask our new neighbor, Justice Strauss, if she has a cookbook we could borrow. As a judge, she must have a huge library. That's a great idea. Let's go next door and ask her. We need to find our way out, but this door's locked. I have an idea, but I'll need some wire, a flat disc, and some sort of turn crank. Adaptiva? The lobber eggs should stun them so we can get past. Speedy? Yeah, the wall behind that painting looks odd. I wonder if Olaf's hidden something there. Oh, that's odd. But interesting. I should pick it up. It could prove to be useful later. For every ten eyes you collect, you will receive a playbill for one of Olaf's theater productions. The turning handle on this pencil sharpener will be perfect for my invention. Sonny, I have a feeling there's something in there that I can use for my invention.
Hey, what are you doing sneaking around? Get out of here! Give a man some privacy. Let's keep our distance. He doesn't seem very friendly. But I could use that record for my invention. When dealing with a villain like this, you must stun them with the item shown up in the right-hand corner. When the hench person is stunned, you can bop them with the smasher. Oh, that spelty. Good thinking, Sonny. I thought I told you kids to get out of here. When the hench person is stunned, you can bop them with the smasher. Got the record. Voila! The lockpick is complete. To use the lockpick, target the locked door or item with the left mouse button, then release the button to unlock. Closet. Fascinating. There's a small hole in here. Sonny, you're the only one who can fit inside. We need you to crawl through and look for another way around. Be careful. Great job, Sonny. I knew you could do it. Kiki! What are those things? Suborder Nematocera. It's really an adult fly, but is often referred to as a giant mosquito. I've seen pictures, but they don't look that big in the book. Uh-oh, someone's coming. Hide. Count Olaf and I are running away to Zanzibar together. He told me not to tell you, but it's true. Wrong! He's sending you by yourself so he and I can be together. <laughs> It must have been those women. Hmm. That gives me an idea. We'll need a pump, something cone-shaped, and their eau de toilette. Eau de toilette? Eau de toilette is a term that is supposed to mean perfume, but in this instance, it means something closer to how it sounds. Oh no, it's a rat. This old bicycle bump should work for Violet's invention. Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, excuse me. Yeah, th that's a lovely fragrance you're wearing there. What do you call it? 
Well, why don't you come over here for a better whiff? Hey! Ah! Now Count Olaf will shun me. Eau de toilette. That looks like a hide a bit. There should be a, a rat and a big one at that. Perfect cone shape. Exactly what Violet was looking for. Hmm. If that goes there, and I spin this around... Presto! Bug sprayer. Hold the left mouse button to target with the bug sprayer, and release it to spray the eau de toilette. That takes care of the mosquitoes. I wonder if all these pictures of the billiard table mean anything. Let's look at that map on the desk. This map shows a secret passage behind the fireplace in the billiard room. It leads to a library next door in Justice Strauss's house. It's open. <laughs> now we can get into the library. Nami Pao. 